What's going on, everybody? I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you clicked that link. I'm Jared. This is the LVME. We do want a smoking reaction, and you know what it's for. You clicked it. It's that brand new Tom McDonald God Mode that just dropped. I couldn't be more excited for this one, everybody. I bet a lot of you are, too, because if you've been looking at any of the live streams that Tom has done or peeped out any of his social media leading up to this event today, you know that this is not a political song. This is something between like almost 10 minutes or so of Tom just rapping, and he's got some shit to say. I guarantee it. I have been waiting for some response from Tom to a lot of the noise that has been going on. Now, if you're a longtime viewer of this channel, you know I didn't really poke my nose in any of the diss tracks towards Tom that were going on because honestly, I wasn't feeling it. Like, and I know all, you don't. I'm a hip hop head. I've been listening to fucking rap since I was three. I get it. I know what diss tracks are for, responding, etc. And I just saw that the way the moves were being made, I wasn't feeling it. I didn't feel it was legit. I didn't feel that it was um, really something I wanted to get involved in. But I did listen to it. I am up on all that stuff. Just because it wasn't on the channel doesn't mean I'm not involved. And so I've been wondering what Tom was going to do. Because I already knew what he wasn't going to do. And that is respond with a straight diss track. If you are any type of fan of Tom's music or if you've looked into his previous diss battle before with Mac Lethal, you already know he didn't like it. He's not down with that shit anymore. And honestly, what the truth of the matter is, the facts are Tom has gotten so big now that when he mentions someone's name in a track like that, he is giving them a shine that a lot of times he might feel that they don't deserve. And then he is executing promotion of them onto his platform that he has built. So I do expect a response from Tom, but I already know that this is not a diss track. But I do expect him to address some of the things that have been said, some of the noise that's been in the air about him lately. And I'm excited to see what he's got to say about it. But I bet, I bet you, he ain't going to mention any names. But let's go on. Before we get to that, though, listen right here. Actually, wait, this is my copy because you can see it's got this, the autograph on it. This is the brand new copy I'm giving away right here. You know, um, my last Tom video was a few weeks ago now, and we started this giveaway contest for this brand new Death Threat CD right here. But we haven't finished it yet. I told you we'd do a couple tracks, and I just haven't got back to Tom. So this is what we're doing, all right? You got to just mention the CD, just mention Tom McDonald CD in the comments, and that's going to enter you to win this. I'm going to go for a week. So a week from Friday when this is dropping, um, I will go through or we'll get the comments from the last Tom McDonald video I did, all the comments that mentioned the Tom McDonald CD on this one, throw them in a random number generator, and that person wins this CD in the mail, all right? Listen, I'm stoked. We're going to continue these Tom McDonald giveaways. Look, I got a stack. You see this stack right here? This stack is Tom McDonald CDs we're giving away. And these are all brand new. This isn't just you getting my old CDs. My CD stack of Tom stuff is right here. Brand new stuff. I'm excited to help promote him. I'm excited to help do some giveaways on the channel. This, if you haven't heard this before, this has brand new music from Tom for you. It's old, but I mean, it'll be brand new to your ears because he doesn't release the vast majority of his CD tracks onto streaming services. So let's get all that shit aside and let's get into this God mode. Listen, if you ain't heard this thing from Tom yet, man, I'm going to be pausing it. I guarantee you we're going to be talking a lot during this video. If that's going to drive you nuts because you just want to hear this man's song first, click on that link down there, homie. It's going to take you to Tommy's channel. Give him a like. Give him a sub. Leave him a comment. Hit the back button. Bounce over here. Hang out with us. Light it up in the comments along the way. Let me know what you guys think of what we're hearing here. And let's check this thing out. Last thing I want to say is the title of this song immediately invokes thoughts of Eminem's Rap God. I think that's intentional. I mean, that was an absolute showcase of flow and lyricism for Eminem. And I'm expecting uh, something similar here with Tom. I saw this was like eight plus minutes long, everybody. I'm expecting something fucking epic here. Are you? Man, I'm excited. All right, you guys ready? I'm ready. Let's do this shit right here. Tom McDonald, God Mode. Hit that like. Give me that sub if you're down. And let's rock this song, everybody. Here we go. I've been hearing that they think my political music is boring. Tell them I'm sorry. 
I've been rapping about things that I feel are important. I can talk about how rich I am, all these little rappers that I'm bigger than. I could show you the impact addiction had, how the liquor turned me to a different man. I'm not the kid who was visiting Disneyland. I'm not a perfect Christian, have a sinner's past. But I sobered up, prescriptions hit the trash. Now I'm sitting back with 50 billboard plaques, 20 million dollars and a million fans. Middle fingers flipping, I can't flip them back. I'm so independent, so they get the message. I've been spitting facts, I'm not a fiction fan. I am the truth. I am the truth. All right, that was just all that before the beat dropped in. He came right out with it, didn't he? He came right out with that shit. You talking all this shit? I only make the same song. Look, if you have ever read a Tom McDonald comment section, that is like one of the main criticisms this fool gets. All your music sounds the same. All your music sounds the same. Bro, if you're looking at that type, if you're looking at everybody's music, you can fucking say that about everybody, dude. How many rap songs do we hear about bitches with big ass booties? How many rap songs we hear about drugs? How many rap songs we hear about how much money you got or how, how whose ass you're going to kick? Like, bro, this is what people do. And there's nothing wrong with it, man. There's nothing wrong with it. But Tommy can mix it up, too. And if you actually listen to Tom's CDs, which you will discover if you've never got one before, political music doesn't even make up 25% of what's on the vast majority of his CDs. So I like this. I want to hear what he has to say one more time. So I just pop this back. Okay, let's go here. I've been hearing that they think my political music is boring. Tell them I'm sorry. I've been rapping about things that I feel are important. Rapping about things that I feel are important. I believe that is sincere. You know, Tom lives here. You know, I mentioned the diss track earlier. We all know I'm talking about Upchurch. And look, I'm a fucking Upchurch fan. I love Ryan Upchurch's music. I have been a supporter all the way up until just... Just... I didn't like, I didn't like some of the moves I was seeing. And I don't like the fact that that some people get so upset when, when someone has to take a little criticism. Like, like, we're all human beings. You shouldn't like everything anybody ever does, whether it's an actor, a politician, a teacher, your mentor, the preacher, whoever it is, nobody is perfect. So you're just not gonna blindly think something everybody does is fucking great. I just don't believe that that's sincere and I don't believe that it's real. And I've criticized plenty of Tom McDonald's music. Listen to my channel, and, and I've also got a stack of his CDs. Like, these fuckers are like 15 bucks a piece, you know what I mean? I'm giving them away, I support the dude, we should be able to criticize. And I didn't like what I saw Upchurch doing, doesn't mean I'm not a fan, but it seems like as soon as he takes any type of criticism, his fan base just dives in, and suddenly you're a hater, and you don't know what you're talking about, and blah, 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 blah. So, I'm curious if he's going to get to that. Now, I'm ranting and raving. We're like 20 seconds in. I told you I'd be stopping this. I'll get back into it. Here we go. Here we go. I can talk about how rich I am, all these little rappers that I'm bigger than. I could show you the impact addiction had, how the liquor turned me to a different man. I'm not the kid who was visiting Disneyland. I'm not a perfect Christian, have a sinner's past. Them eyes right there. You got cat eyes just popped right up there. Like, he talks about how rich he is. I bet Tom is fucking paid. Like, I don't think people want to take that flex with Tom McDonald because... Those sales that he gets, man, all that money goes to him, minus whatever cut iTunes takes, which they're taking off label artists too, but Tom doesn't have no label eating up all them profits. But I sobered up, prescriptions hit the trash, now I'm sitting back with 50 billboard plaques, 20 million dollars and a million fans. He said he got 50 billboard plaques now. He said he got 20 million dollars. I've heard him toss that number around before. Now look, it could just be a flex, it could be BS, we don't really know, right? But it's not that crazy of a number if you look at what he's done. And even if it's just sales, if he's talking about he got $20 million in sales, we're talking about a guy who's pure independent. After his initial cost for the actual CDs and his cost for the, the CD sleeves and um, whatever cut that iTunes or Spotify or whoever takes off the streaming bits, like all that shit goes to him. When he sells a song for $2, most of that $2 is going to Tom. So that money stacks, 50 billboard plaques. Those are digital sales plaques. Those aren't streaming numbers. It's not like 2 million Spotify streams, which didn't earn you shit. We're talking about sales, cha-ching, money. Middle fingers flipping, I can't flip them back. I'm so independent, so they get the message. I've been spitting facts, I'm not a fiction fan. I am the truth, ah. I am the GOAT. I've been spitting facts, I'm not a fiction fan. I am the truth, I am the GOAT. Ah. I am the proof, you can reach every one of your goals You can be too drunk, way too high, but it's never too late to have hope I am the one, I'm gonna preach, you can reach every- I like that right there, he's flexing, but then he's also saying I am the example that you can do this shit If my drunk, 
fucking dumbass could do this with some hard work, with some dedication, with the balls to put myself out there, then so can you. So can anybody. And that's facts. That's the kind of flex I like right there, too. Be one of your dreams. You can be up against the whole entire world and you can beat them if you just believe. They've been saying I'm Illuminati and I'm going to hell. They're desperately searching for any excuse to explain why I've done what they can't do themselves. The only way they can make sense of my famous claim, I worship Satan and labels of help. I don't have an advantage. It's natural Whoa, talent. Bro. Your ego is damaged. Admit that you failed. All that shit right there was basically shit that was coming from up church right there. I mean, I'm assuming that's who he's talking about right there. Like I told you, he's not going to say the name. He's not going to give him a push. And I know up church is big. All right. But I promise you, there is a, a massive section of Tom McDonald fans that have never heard of that dude. But if you were to mention him, then people run and go check him out. And why, why should he use this platform to do that? But that, to me, is a direct answer to a lot of the stuff that Uptrush was saying, which is why I wasn't really effing with it, man, because I thought it was lame. Like, lame, like trying to say, oh, Tom is making fun of America, or Tom is a Satanist because of one line in one song where he was literally explaining something that someone else would say. It was, it was ridiculous, and so you're right. To me, it just didn't seem sincere, and what he said right there seemed facts. Like you're just trying to come up with some bullshit because you can't explain why he's so successful or you don't want to look at why he's so successful. The fucking Satanism shit was retarded. That was so dumb. It's so dumb. For any excuse to explain why I've done what they can't do themselves. The only way they can make sense of my famous claim, I worship Satan and labels of help. I don't have an advantage that too that he was an industry plant like i literally read that on so many so many comments on on ryan's page and, and others just dealing with it. It, it that is an insane statement manage its natural talent your ego was damaged admit that you failed i remember back when i was the only political rapper what the hell happened all of a sudden everyone who never gave a damn got political and started rapping god damn that's right I remember back when I was the only political rapper, not everybody doing that stuff. Facts. Magic, I should be flattered. Man, I created the genre. They practically jacked it. Acting like they're in the conversation. They ain't nowhere near it on a different planet. Ah. This is not you. Yes, that's what I'm saying. He's like, acting like you're in the conversation. You ain't nowhere near it. I'm on a different planet. Facts. Facts. I'm sorry. Numbers don't lie. I love up church, but numbers don't lie. Like you're the one that he's the one that started this little attempt at a beef that didn't really get anywhere, but it's being answered some right now. I mean, I'm still going to continue to be a fan of up church and support his music as well. But I mean, I just, Tom's got facts on his side and numbers don't lie. Look at the numbers, just compare numbers, tat, past 10 songs. One's going to have like 80 million views. The other one's past 10 songs has got like eight total. I mean, you can just see it. It's one was up here going here. One is going this way. It's this whole flex wasn't even necessary, man. From what I understand, he was offered a spot on the Brave 2 CD and didn't do it. I believe I could be wrong here. My, this is speculation, but I believe it was on the white people song. And I believe that's how Dax wound up with that. And I do believe that's why Brian threw a little shade at Dax, trying to pretend like he'd never heard of the guy before when it dropped but anyways i digress i digress i knew tom was gonna drop some answers to this stuff right here man he ain't playing around and all of a sudden everyone who never gave a damn got political and started rapping tragic i should be flattered man i created the genre they practically jacked it acting like they're in the conversation they ain't nowhere near it on a different planet this is not youtube this is upper echelon president of sony on my telephone i get ah. what i want how i want when i want until the day that i'm dead and gone the internet in love with beef they want rappers at war Huh. But I don't care who's huh. coming at me, I swore that I wouldn't do disses no more. The last time I battled the man that I trampled, lost his career, and then had a divorce. The last time I battled the man that I trampled, lost his career, and then had a divorce. I think that's all true. I, the only thing I don't know about is the divorce. But, like, I did a video, man, it was probably like a year ago, like a where are they now between Mac Lethal and Tom McDonald. And, yeah, that's just another case where the numbers don't lie. You could see Mac was doing okay until he started that beef and then literally took the biggest L ever and has been virtually unheard of, despite the fact that he was dropping albums, dropping mad songs, still doing his fucking pancake flipping rapping BS. He just got murked, man. He got straight murked. That was all facts. Uh, the internet in love with beef, they want rappers at war. But I don't care who's coming at me, I swore that I wouldn't do disses no more. The last time I battled the man that I trampled lost his career.
not cap just suddenly like when up church through that diss at him he's like oh i don't do that no more no he said that like a long time ago he's got songs about it on his album check out bite my tongue if you got one of his albums like you can't really hear that that song anywhere else oh no wait no he released that as a surprise release on like what was it cyber monday or some shit like that career and then had a divorce that wasn't fair homie got torched i feel the weight like i'm carrying around a corpse still ah. no deal still no team still just little old me still making fun of the whole industry still rap on my own beats i'm the only multi-millionaire in my family tree. still rap on my own beats that's another thing he does that he doesn't get the credit for he doesn't have a producer he's not working with these other people he's making his music doing his beats his shit his way out of his living room you have to respect it you can be like i don't like his music i don't like his sound i don't like his bars i don't like his lyrics but you cannot cannot have anything but respect for the grind and if you don't you're just a sorry ass hater i'm sorry man i respect all kind of people's grinds whose political views or product i might not necessarily agree with i think jake paul is a tool i think he's one of the biggest douches on the planet but boy, do I respect the fact that he's been able to get out there and do what he has done. I was a boxer. You think I had any? I was at one point better than Jake Paul. I'm anywhere near the success that dude has. Not even fucking close. I respect that shit. I keep hearing rumors that my parents rich and that's how I got in the lead. That's a All big right. L-I-E. If you want to know the truth, I guess. I can show you why I move like this. Let me take you back into my head. Tell you about the movie I live. For an alcoholic, nothing in my... Listen to them flow switches right there. Listen to the, the, I mean, these bars have been tight the whole way through, but this flow switch is nice, and he's doing it where the voice is real strong and the music's real fucking minimal, where you can't do nothing but hear it. Oh, me still making fun of the whole industry, still rap on my own beats. I'm the only multimillionaire in my family tree. I keep hearing rumors that my parents rich and that's how I got in the lead. That's a big L-I-E. If you want to know the truth, I guess. I can show you why I move like this. Let me yeah. take you back into my head. Tell you about the movie I live. For an alcoholic, nothing in my wallet. Every doctor said that I was depressed. Should be in a coffin or inside a cardboard box and addicted to meth. I was uh. sleeping on my best friend couch. I that should be in a cardboard box, dead or addicted to meth, sleeping on my best friend's couch. We streaming up a West End house. We was living in a basement, sweet East Side, brain. we get out. Motorcycles on the front lawn, bunch of crackheads in the alley. Open up my bedroom window and tell them there's empty bottles they can have. Cops at the All facts, man. If you know Tom's story, you know. Like, he's not bullshit, and this ain't like just bars. He's just, this ain't just lyrical fucking flexing with no facts behind it. That's exactly where he was exactly where he was he came to america broke he fucking ground it out here in the hood and had success he put his he borrowed 500 dollars to run a facebook ad on dear rappers that's when you believe in yourself when you're borrowing money for facebook ads is when you got balls that is something that most people don't even have the guts to do let alone make some little video him and his girl in the hood making some it was a, a i mean not a good video it's i mean it's good but it's certainly nothing like this nothing like you see now it's basic basic as fuck and look what he did with it that's a grind man and i respect the hell out of it and i hope he addresses this canadian bullshit too because that was the only other thing i, I heard in this whole dis fucking nonsense it was He's a Satanist, he hates America, or he's making fun of America, and he's Canadian, which, don't even get me started. Let's see what, I'm sure Tom has something to say. We're like a third of the way through this. Door, I couldn't sleep, making up noodles to eat for a week. I couldn't stomach the food I was making if I was in high school, I always had weed. Leave ah. the crib and the neighbors are tripping, I flip them the bird. I say he always had weed, you think he didn't have food? Cops at the door, I couldn't sleep Making up noodles to eat for a week I couldn't stomach the food I was making If I was in high school, I always had weed Leaving the crib and the neighbors are tripping I flip them the bird, I ain't stopping to talk They leaving us notes on the passenger window Cause we always park in the whip and they spot Ten in the morning, we sipping on forties And taking the Honda Civic up the block Looking for one of my homies who living on the street Cause he got addicted to rocks uh. Waiting in line at church, they giving out food I would pull up every second Sunday Get some hard boiled eggs and juice that I love this shit because that I've been there too, homie. That exact same shit, except I wasn't making rap music. I've been in that line at the church. I've been there in the hood too. I feel your pain, homie. I feel that shit. Was the 
move. I was a broke boy, then I blew up. I was suicidal, yeah, the mood sucked. Now I've been rich, I done made hits. I've been praying, I don't screw it up. And now that I've blown up, they're mad that I've grown up. They missing my old stuff. They say my political music's all sounding the same and the flow suck. I'm never gonna... Okay, I've heard the one about the political music sounding all the same, but who the fuck said Tom's flows suck? He must not know rap. It's, I've been praying, I don't screw it up. And now that I've blown up, they're mad that I've grown up. They missing my old stuff. They say my political music's all sounding the same and the flow suck. I'm never going to be the old Tom or recapture the magic of old songs. I What's going on in his hands right there? Like, what is that? Is that jewelry or is that some special effect to make him look like half robot or something? What's going on with that? That looks cool, though. I don't know, Tom. You the goat, Tom. Give me what I want or I will go, Tom. Shut up! I'm not the guy that you fell in love with back when I was young and dumb. Always wow. getting drunk, taking hella drugs, living in the ghetto, no food for a month. Couldn't pay the power bill, the shower filled with towels, mold, and hella bugs. That was ah. the old Tom. That was broke, Tom. Stop saying you miss who I was. Now you can... Old Tom, that was broke Tom. Stop saying you miss who I was. God, yes, sir. Thank you. They say people don't change, but people do change. Life changes you. The term people don't change comes when usually when you're trying to change somebody's basic personality. People change themselves. They do it all the time. And the rapper that Tom McDonald was is not the same rapper that he's going to be right now. His, his music now is not going to sound like his music then. Facts. You're not going to get that Tom back. It's just not going to happen. Luckily, in my opinion, and I think pretty much everybody would agree with me, Tom has evolved into something better. Like, the dude is a hella good rapper. Hella good rapper. Tell me he's not listening to this. Give me all the Gucci, give me all the Louis, give me every... Give me all the Gucci, give me all the Louis. For a month, couldn't pay the power bill, the shower filled with towels, mold, and hella bugs. That was the old Tom, that was broke Tom. Stop saying you miss who I was. Now you can give me all the Gucci, give me all the Louis, give me everything I want at once. Give me Lamborghinis, give me all my flowers, give you everything I have to do be love. Now they call me racist and they say I'm canceled, but I guarantee you that there will be blood. I ain't going nowhere, I ain't stopping nothing, I'ma really go there, I don't give a... I'm the Shut best up. thing going right now, they can't mess with me. Yeah. I've been up, I've been down, I climbed down. Before today, and I'll be great till I decide to walk away. Ah, damn, son. damn, boy. Ugh. Ugh, if that don't pump you up, if that don't pump you up, I, I don't know. Do you have a heart? Oh, god damn, Tom. Yes, hell yeah, boy. What's the hell I'm talking about? Tom got something to say. God damn. That's the shit right here. My boy is going off. God mode indeed. Hell yeah. Hell yes. Give me all the Gucci. Give me all the Louis. Give me everything I want. Give me all the Gucci. Give me all the Louis. Just, just so he can be just like, give me a fuck you. I've been broke for so long. Give me that shit. I feel it, man. I mean, there's way more to life than material shit. But sometimes, especially if you've ever been broke, and I've been broke, so I know. Like, sometimes you just, fuck it, I want that shit. Give it to me. Look at what I did. That's how you can fucking, look what I fucking did. And that's a good feeling to have. And people who have struggled and put it all on the line damn well deserve to have that feeling. One at once, give me Lamborghinis, give me all my flowers, give you everything I have to do be loved. Now they call me racist and they say I'm canceled, but I guarantee you that there will be blood. I ain't going nowhere, I ain't stopping nothing, I'ma really go there, I don't give a f I'm the best thing going right now, they can't mess with me. I've been up, I've been down, I climbed down. Before today and I'll be great till I decide to walk away And I'm the one you have to thank for every independent artist getting billboard plaques I showed uh. everybody how to beat the record labels and still I don't get no thanks Everybody who been hating on me got me every little thing I'm doing I mean they dress like me, sign CDs, no one is buying their music Everybody is copying what I'm doing Now, they sign CDs. I'm sorry, but that is fact. And I'm not hating on it. I think it's a smart move to copy what works. But literally, 
every independent rapper I can think of right now that most definitely was not selling CDs before is selling CDs and they're signing them. And while that's hella cool, because I love a signed CD, I got a big stack of signed CDs right here. And look, I got one. It's not all time. Look, I got a signed Mad Child right there, too. Like, another signed Mad Child right here with Tom. Like, that that's cool. It's dope. I'm glad he started the trend. But let's be honest. Everybody from burden to fucking Ryan up church is suddenly selling CDs and signing them shits and doing merch drops with their new music and God bless them. I wish them all success, but Tom is right. Where's my little, where's my thank you for that shit, right? Talking that shit. How about a thank you? Before today and I'll be great till I decide to walk right away. I'm the one you have to say for every independent artist getting billboard plaques. I showed everybody how to beat the record labels and still I don't get no nah. thanks. Everybody who been hating on me copies every little thing I'm doing. I mean, they dress like me, sign CDs, no one is buying their music. I'm the blueprint for these YouTube kids. Every single little view you get, every time you get an iTunes check, you just imitate what I do best. Ooh, I'm the blueprint for these YouTube kids. Every time you get an iTunes check, you just do what I just did or something like that. Ah, it stings so hard because it ain't all cap at all. That's why there's some fucking power behind that shit. He's, he's knocking the fucking out of the park with facts. Those are the those are the barbs that sting the worst, right? When they're true. Me sign CDs, no one is buying their music. I'm the blueprint for these YouTube kids. Every single little view you get, every time you get an iTunes check, you just imitate what I do best. I'm on Fox News, I'm on Rolling Stone, in the New York Times, on the radio, got a billion views, Millie on the gram. You still paying to be verified, man? I am the reason that Billboard removed all the digital sales charts off their website. I was outperforming label artists and executives pressured them to hit the red light. You know. I am the reason billboard charts removed you're right you you have to have a uh you you have to have a paid subscription to billboard now to see the rap sales digital charts like like you you can click on it and it'll load up for like five seconds but then it goes away so i mean if you're quick you can see who's on top but or sometimes it'll show the number one but it won't show you like the top 10 in there and so i mean i'm not paying a subscription for fucking billboard just to read that but but he's He's right. It did go behind the paywall. It's funny if, if that was really true, that it was his, his sales that did it. I mean, that's probably just a flex, but still, it makes you wonder. Kids, every single little view you get, every time you get an iTunes check, you just imitate what I do best. I'm on Fox News, I'm on Rolling Stone, in the New York Times, on the radio, got a billion views, Millie on the gram, you still paying to be verified, man. I am the reason that Billboard removed all the digital sales charts off their website. I was outperforming label artists. What is he holding? Is that like a thing he's holding or is that just just a, a whatever? Like, I don't know. I don't know awards. And executives pressured him to hit the red light. Universal, Warner Music, Sony, CEOs wanted me dead, but they ain't never gonna really kill me. They just cancel the digital charts instead. Stop telling me that Ooh. anyone else is bigger than I am. Go get the Nielsen sound scan numbers. Tell me what you find, man. Who's the... Stop telling me somebody else is bigger than I am. Go get the Nielsen sound scan sound scan charts he's saying i got the receipts back me up he's saying the receipts back me up go check for yourself he dead but they ain't never gonna really kill me they just cancel the digital charts instead stop telling me that anyone else is bigger than i am go get the nielsen sound scan numbers tell me what you find man who's the biggest i am ah. i'm angry that i love america guess it's a problem because i'm canadian i live in the states i gave 200 grand to the veterans i am a patriot i am not faking this i don't need to keep on making hits could have retired three years ago basically oh i gotta stop that that's the thing that's been driving me nuts and i've said it before on this channel like that criticism makes no sense. This Tom's Canadian, why is he talking about America? Like, that would make sense, I guess, if he lived in Canada and put out the music he does and wasn't here. But he's, it's not like he just comes here every once in a while. He's lived here for like a decade. He pays taxes here. All this fat money he's talking about he earned. Guess where you have paid taxes on it? Here, when he goes to the grocery store, guess where he spends his money? California. When he buys all that Gucci, Louis Vuitton shit he was just telling you about, where do them tax dollars go? to the people of California, to their fucking, their services out there. I mean, come on, he's earned the right to talk about America. And as far as I know, I believe he's trying to get his citizenship or just got it recently, but he'd probably mention that if he had. But I mean, this, this, this fairy tale, ridiculous fucking criticism that Tom McDonald can't talk about America is absurd. It's absurd.
This is what I mean when I said I just couldn't roll with that stuff. That the fucking diss tracks make no sense. Like your shit is whack. It's it's bullshit. Like come with something better than that. Don't give me regurgitated Mac lethal disses and some BS about how he's Canadian. Like Tom's literally the American dream. You 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 move here to better yourself. You work hard and it pays off. Ta da. We should be applauding this dude. Go check my bank account, buddy. I'm crazy rich. I don't need money. I rap because I'm made for. I'm gonna run that back a little bit. This is bigger than I am. Go get the Nielsen sound scan numbers. Tell me what you find, man. Who's the biggest I am? The angry that I love America. Guess it's a problem because I'm Canadian. I live in the states. I gave 200 grand to the veterans. I am a patriot. I am a bacon. It's not cap either. I believe it's actually 250 thousand dollars he's given to veterans here in the United States through charity. Fact. I don't need to keep on making hits. Could have retired three years ago, basically. Go check my bank account, buddy. I'm crazy rich. I don't need money. I rap because I'm made for this. I am only doing this because I love it. I told every record label they can shove it. Rappers hate on me, but I'm above it. 93 Shawn Michaels, everyone can suck it. They want photos when they see me out in public. Then they trash me in the comments. What a bummer. I sign autographs and spill my guts and stomach. All I get is people praying that I'll plummet. I came a long way. You got a lot more than that, man. You got a lot of loyal fucking fans, man. You do. And I, myself included, I, I ain't gonna lie. Or hide the fact I'm biased towards Tom, but I also stand true in the fact I've criticized lots of his music, lots of it, or not lots, but a, 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 several, several fucking songs. Enough where fans were hitting me up in the comments section, like you're just a hater. Like, motherfucker, I spent hundreds of dollars on CDs. I'm not a hater. Just you got to keep it real in life. Yeah, look at Tom's face right there. Look at them. Dreamt in this all day. I should have saw graves, but God saves. I got faith. What a loser. I needed boost to maneuver. Bottles of hooch in the cooler. Now I'm the proof that you can choose to be a trooper and regroup and pursue a future. Be a ruler. Screw all the rumors. And all the dudes who be acting stupid on computers. Hate is the fuel that humans can use to improve themselves. If they don't let their wounds ruin, they move it. You can do it and then you can lose it. You can choose to view it through some different pupils. You can shoot for the moon if you miss it. Recoup it and then execute it till you make it through it. There ain't no excuses. The rules are confusing. So break it and use them to find the solution. The truth is you're losing till you are immune and you turn the abuse into your revolution. I've been addicted. Bro, to hear that rhyme scheme, lyrics, bars, that was all with the, the U syllable. Lose it, confused, fuel, all the way through there, rhyme after rhyme after rhyme after rhyme. To the veterans, I am a patriot. I am not faking this. I don't need to keep on making hits. Could have retired three years ago, basically. Go check my bank account, buddy. I'm crazy rich. I don't need money. I rap because I'm made for this. I am only doing this because I love it. I told every record label they can shove it. Rappers hate on me, but I'm above it. 93 Shawn Michaels, everyone can suck it. They want photos when they see me out in public. Then they trash me in the comments. What a bummer. I sign autographs. Start right here. Just spill my guts and stomach. All I get is people praying that I'll plummet. I came a long way. Dreamt in this all day. I should have saw graves, but God saves. I got faith. What a loser. I need a boost to maneuver. Bottles of hooch in the. He's there with what a loser. Listen to how long he carries this rhyme scheme out. Where's this at? 457. Everyone can suck it. They want photos when they see me out in public. Then they trash me in the comments. What a bummer. I sign autographs and spill my guts and stomach. All I get is people praying that I'll plummet. I came a long way. Dreamt in this all day. I should have saw graves, but God saves. I got faith. What a loser. I need to boost to maneuver. Bottles of hooch in the cooler. Now I'm the proof that you can choose to be a trooper and regroup and pursue a future. Be a ruler. Screw all the rumors. And all the dudes who be acting stupid on computers. Hate is the fuel that humans can use to improve themselves. If they don't let their wounds ruin, they move it. You can do it and then you can lose it. You can choose to view it through some different pupils. You can shoot for the moon if you miss it. Recoup it and then execute it till you make it through it. There ain't no excuses. The rules are confusing. So break them and use them to find the solution. The truth is you're losing till you are immune and you turn the to 41 512 to 541 all that you syllable rhyme right there i loved how we talked about hate is a fuel you can use to fuel your success been addicted to plenty of pills poor and mentally ill if i can do it you can do it i went from homeless and drunk Woo. to turning down record deals i done got so many wins that i forget Woo. the wins so many plaques inside the crib they're getting hard to live they so jealous i'm just glad that i ain't them they got i ain't them they got money they got pennies they got dollars but they ain't been making any sense they got hundreds they got thousands i got 10 11 15 20 something names but wow. this ain't always what my life was like honestly it still give me chills way before all of my viral songs before i was living I really like how this switched up right here and wearing all that swag too, 
Oh, this this is bomb. Been in Beverly Hills way before I went and sobered up. Back when me and Brandon couldn't pay the bills. Uh, way back when I should have been locked up. Overdosed to getting killed. My sister called me from the hospital, said her job's killing her, and that was a fact. She working overtime often, out of options, having panic attacks. Didn't let her finish talking, told her walk in and to quit and call back. Next thing I know, uh, she's in California and she's working for Hangover Gang. Did you hear that rhyme scheme right there? Way back when I should have been locked up, overdosed or getting killed. My sister called me from the hospital, said her job's killing her, and that was a fact. She working overtime often, out of options, having panic attacks. Didn't let her finish talking, told her walk in and to quit and call back. Next thing I know, she's in California and she's... A, B, B, A, A, B, B, A working for hangover gang and daddy always told me i was special and one day i would conquer the music business and i guess he was right because look at my life i just bought him a new porsche for christmas and mama worked harder than any woman on earth her boss would have never have fired her i recognized they weren't giving her what she was worth so i retired her ah uh, damn let's run that back we can see his family right there Right, cause look at my life i just bought him a new porsche for christmas and mama worked harder than any woman on earth her boss would have never god damn cuz that's deep right there. That's, that's that's what I'm talking about. Just in case you think he's bullshitting, he trotted him right out and said that shit right in front of him. So no, he's not lying about buying mom a poor or buying dad a Porsche retiring mom. Remember he talked about sending her a Louis purse with a hundred K in it. That is his sister. I've seen her on other stuff before. It's a family thing. All this bullshit trying to say Tom's an industry plant. Are you people crazy? Like, come on. Like, I don't have a problem. Come at somebody with some disses. I don't have a problem with that, but don't come with the whack. Don't, don't bring that sorry ass. I got an album coming out. I need to fucking get my name off somebody else's bullshit. Because that's all that was to me. And that's, uh, I just, I don't, I don't like that move, man. I just didn't like that move. I like this move. I like this move right here. I like these moves right here. I like this song right here. I like these bars. I really like this flex, man. That makes me miss my mom, man. I lost my mom a few months ago and my grandma. It makes my heart ache for my family. It's so important. And it, 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 it's such a good thing to see because we don't see enough here in 2024 and last year and, and in the future. We don't. The family is not showcased enough. And what people do for their family is important. We should celebrate this stuff, everybody. I know you feel me. Never have fired her. I recognized they weren't giving her what she was worth, so I retired her. Uh. This ain't white privilege, this ain't trust fund, this ain't good luck, this ain't silver spoon, this is hard work, this is long nights, this is all me, this is what I do, this is palm trees and Ferraris and... Talking about this is all me, this is what I do. Own it, man. You should own your successes just like you own your failures retired her this ain't white privilege this ain't trust fund this ain't good luck this ain't uh. silver spoon this is hard work this is long nights this is all me this is what i do this is palm trees and ferraris and a calm breeze and a pretty view if you don't believe i deserve it then you never lived the life i did and you wouldn't make it through I came up that's what i mean that's why i respect this shit i've been homeless on the street and i don't mean i spent a couple months on some buddy's couch i mean i was homeless on the street for a year of my life on the street so I know, I know what that is like, and I know what it's like to rise up out of something. And maybe I ain't seen this kind of crazy success, but I ain't on the fucking street no more. You know what I mean? Like, and, and when you've been there and you see that, you want to celebrate others who do that, and you want to celebrate things that let people know if you're in that situation, you have the power to turn around and get out of there yourself. It all boils down to decisions that you make on the spot, in the moment, every day. And you can do it just like Tom did, just like I've done in my life, just like lots and lots of people in the comments have as well, I'm sure. Hit me up and let me know. The city where I still don't get no respect. I moved away and I blew up and everyone else is still stuck in the town. Run that back a little. Tired her. This ain't white privilege, this ain't trust fund, this ain't good luck, this ain't silver spoon, this is hard work, this is long nights, this is all me, this is what I do, this is palm trees and Ferraris and a calm breeze and a pretty view. If you don't believe I deserve it, then you never lived the life I did and you wouldn't make it through. I came out of a city where I still don't get no respect. I moved away and I blew up and everyone else is so stuck in the town that I left. I'm not impressed. And they've been saying my video views are all fake and I honestly hope it helps get them some rest. I'm worth like 30 million mother dollars, all you bums are living check to check. He said my views are all fake. Like, if you think Tom's views are fake, you don't understand how the YouTube algorithm works, man. You don't. I'm sorry. Like, you think it's that easy? You think it's that easy to just get a channel and throw some views on it, and then, and then you're just, oh, no, I have millions of views. 
any YouTube creator will tell you different. And the people that are telling you that that works are people that are trying to sell you the views. Earth, so I retired her. This ain't white privilege, this ain't trust fund, this ain't good luck, this ain't silver spoon, this is hard work, this is long nights, this is all me, this is what I do, this is palm trees and Ferraris and a calm breeze and a pretty view. If you don't believe I deserve it, then you never lived the life I did and you wouldn't make it through. I came out of a city where I still don't get no respect. I moved away and I blew up and everyone else is so stuck in the town that I left. I'm not impressed. And they've been saying my video views are all fake and I honestly hope it helps get them some rest. I'm worth like 30 million mother dollars, all you bums are living check to check. He said, I'm worth more than $30 million, all you bums are living check to check. I hope that's true. I, I hope that. I hope that's fact. I really do. Everybody is an enemy. They all tell us that I'm a celebrity. Well, screw them. Screw the government. Screw the record label. Screw the mainstream. I'm in God mode. They in beast mode. Ah. We are not the same. We ain't equals. And I ah. pray to God that you can deep throw. God mode. They in beast mode. We are not the same. I feel, and it probably is, that that is a nice little uh, little Eminem reference right there, too. We are not the same. M and Royce defied nine on Kamikaze. And that was an answer to MGK, by the way. Everybody is an enemy. Others. They all tell us that I'm a celebrity. Well, screw them. Screw the government. Screw the record label. Oh. Screw the mainstream. I'm in God mode. They in beast mode. We are not the same. We ain't equals. And I pray to God that you can deep throat. Got 11 inches for you weak hoes. Y'all cannot critique. Pray to God you can deep throat. Seek me, I ain't in my league still. All your hate completes me, I can't be killed. God just wanna be me, maybe be chill. Leave him bleeding in a wheat field. All my missiles heat seek, you can't beat me. Homie, keep still. I can tell that you don't eat me. Ton of green beans, you a vegan when the beef's real. Vegan when the beef's real. I love his tone right here. He's got the I'm about to burst out laughing because you are so whack tone. Exact tone he's got. Gonna be me, maybe be chill. Leave him bleeding in a wheat field. All my missiles heat seek. You can beat me, homie. Keep still. I can tell that you don't eat me. Ton of green beans. You a vegan when the beef's real. Everybody's saying I'm fake, but they're the ones who really faking though. And their songs all on YouTube. Well, my songs on the radio. They claim they hate fame, but they change when they need streams. Then they say names and play games and take game and hate on me. Oh. Wait, I got one more thing I gotta say. Oh my God, so hectic. Oh, this is. Just Blowing my mind, dude. He's even switched up every time he's a cappella, he's used a different flow and just murdering it, man. Murdering it. God, man. I'm so excited. Like, I, I know sometimes people are like, dude, you have to sit still. Like, I can't. Like, I can feel this song pumping through my soul right now. Facts. I want to get up and go run. Like, let's go. Let's go. They claim they hate fame, but they change when they need streams. Then they say names and play games and take game and hate on me. Wait, I got one more thing I got to say. say it, I don't need any more money. These days I just do it for all of my fans. I pray to God I inspire somebody or show someone who thinks they can't that they can. I'm going to keep going till I'm in. Getting the auto tune flow now. The fucking auto tune flow. Wait, I got one more thing I got to say. I don't need any more money. These days I just do it for all of my fans. I pray to God I inspire somebody or show someone who thinks they can't that they can. I'm going to yeah. keep going till I'm in the coffin. I promise no stopping till I kick the can. To the day that they're dropping my box in the ground, it's hang over gang. Yeah. I <laughs> dog. What the fuck? That was sick. Look at the team right there. Look at the team. They even brought their pets in. Man. Oh, God. Oh, my God. God. Oh, good Lord. Y'all still with me? It's been a long video. Had a lot to say. Whoo, Tom had a lot to say. God, man. Tom is the GOAT independent rapper, man. I'm sorry. He has eclipsed everybody at this point. And I know there's always somebody in the comments that's going to be like, but Tech Nine, this, or Upchurch is platinum and gold. I'm not taking anything away from those guys, but I mean, it, it's it's like, what's an analogy that I can use? It's like, you know who's the baddest team in the NFL? It's the, it's the current Super Bowl champion, right? That doesn't make the Super Bowl champion from five years ago. It doesn't negate what they did. doesn't mean they weren't great, but you can't sit here and be like, no, it's still us because five years ago I did this. No, it's about here and now. It's about the here and now. And in the here and the now, 
And over the last few years, Tom McDonald has gone above and beyond proving himself the biggest independent rapper in the game right now. His numbers don't lie. I, I wish somebody could, could go. Can, how do you find Nielsen scan records? Let's see that shit. Let's see it. I would love to know. I wish I had a billboard subscription. I would check those digital sales, but I, I, his number ones aren't fake, man. You can, you can get the receipts on all that. Anyways, all right, I've talked enough. I've talked enough. I'm going to remind you this right here. Just put CD, something with the, with the, with the word CD in here. You could, I, 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 would, I tell you to put the title in, but YouTube flags weird stuff. And this is the, uh, this is the Death Threat CD. Uh, it's Tom's first big release, you know, uh, after he, you know, he did like Leanne's Son and some others, but this is the first one, a real CD thing he did. Uh, we got more coming after that. We're going to run this contest a week, like I said, so a week from today, Friday, the release date of this song. Next Friday, we'll pick a winner. I'll get it in the mail. I'll do a little video announcing it, all right? Thanks for hanging out, everybody. I've been looking forward to this all day. Uh, if you're still with me after all this through this video, thank you. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit me up in the comments. I'll get back to you. Love you guys. I'll see you later. Peace.